Hey guys, welcome to High Five Reviews. My name is Tyler, and today we're going to talk about one of the big pop up out of nowhere games, Fallout 76. I'm a big fan. I'm sure a lot of us are big fans. It's a hard game not to like uh, if you like that kind of survival, kind of, uh, you know, adventurous wasteland open world. That's one of my favorite open world uh, games, uh, besides, you know, Skyrim, which, you know, those are two different time areas. So I like Fallout better than Skyrim. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, so if you, tr if you got something to say, say it below. Tell me what you think. Do you like Skyrim or do you like Fallout? To me, Fallout is, is just better. <laughs> and then Skyrim definitely needs a reamp because they haven't done that shit in forever. Uh, anyways, getting back on to Fallout. Um, let's talk about Fallout 4 before we get jump right into 76. Um, Fallout 4. Let me tell you five good things about Fallout 4 if you haven't played it already. Uh, one, later on that year... Not not too long ago, actually. Is it? I mean, they, they brought it back late. They brought in mods. Those mods changed the game for me because after I got done beating the game, there was nothing else to do. I want to keep playing it, you know? And, and it, that's what most single-player games need to do because after you beat the DLC, after you beat everything, you got nothing to do. You just waste. That's it. It's done. You're just going to sit there and wait till the next game. Mods continue your story, continue everything. You want to keep doing stuff, trying out things. And you get to play the game you love. So mods, big, big, big improvement. I'm happy they brought that in. It took them a while, but they brought it in. Second, to me, their DLCs, all of them I was not disappointed in. Nuka-Cola, by far, was my favorite, though. The last one, something about it. I enjoyed it. It was comical. It was fun. To me, that was an enjoyable DLC. So if you do not have the DLCs, I recommend it. Uh, not trying to spoil it, but if you do do the Nuka-Cola, you're going to mess up your main story. So do not... I repeat, do not purchase Nuka Cola if you've not even beaten the main story. Uh, third, to me, that was a great story, and they did great on making it uh, where it wasn't the same as these other ones. It, they, they did a good twist, and I love that twist, and it was a great twist to me. Um, fourth one, I love the fact of the uh, your partners. It's a lot better in this one. You know, you got your pets, you got this. They have uh, capabilities that were ten times better than they were in Fallout Three and New Vegas. They meant something, you know. It was it's fun to have a companion next to you. Uh, so, and I always had a companion next to me. And the fifth and final one, I really loved it was the building. The building in that was awesome. I'm happy they brought it. It gave you something else to do besides sitting there doing missions. Because I get bored of repetitive, repetitive games. And it, sorry, it happens. You know, you can't get out of it. You know, you're gonna have to do missions, and they're almost identical. Besides a little bit of a story plot. Uh, so the building was kind of cool because if you got sick of doing stuff, you can go over there, build, find resources, and make your town bigger. And, and it was a simple mechanic for me, and I enjoyed it. So that's my top five. I don't really have any cons other than the fact that their graphics have always been really weak. Um, and to me, you always got that rock you get stuck on, and that's in every fallout, I feel like. Uh, and sometimes you got the camera angle that don't match up. You're going through a wall. But other than that, that's always been a fallout problem i feel like i don't know how, i don't know how they have finished it or fixed it but you always have that camera weird funky camera angle that messes up your shot or you got you know a echoing like it sounds like for me i had one where it felt like somebody was behind me the whole entire time but there was nobody there anyways let's get on to fallout 76 i can't show you the whole video so we're gonna fast forward this and that you already know the drill in the description I have the video. I'm sure you can find it easier just searching it, find anybody else's. Like I said, I'm not here to give you first touch on what it is. I'm just giving you my opinion and kind of getting yours. Anyway, let's just start this video. I'm going to fast forward it, kind of give you my hit points on it. So obviously we have the introduction of almost every single one of them, and I love it. They got the radio station coming on. and But, you know, it's different on this one because I never had it on this one. But actually right here is your pit boy that, if you haven't played Fallout before, is your handheld device that you bring around, that's your inventory, that's your health, and all the other good jazz. But I wanted to stop right here and show you, if you haven't stopped and looked, we have our date, and that is important to us. You know, now we kind of know what's going on, what it's going to look like in the wasteland, but, you know, it, maybe it's it, it, October. Is it going to look like fall in there, or are all the motherfuckers dead? So I don't know. We're going to see, we're going to figure it out, but we know it's October 27th. Maybe that's the release date. We never know. That might be the release date to the game, other than the fact that the year date is 2102. Maybe that's when Skyrim will come out, but hey, I don't know. Anyways, let's keep continuing. Uh, if you watch the whole video, you kind of got a good music going in the background, real good beat, you know. If you notice, you see a lot of the same props that they used in all of the other fallouts, which, you know, I'm fine with that, whatever, but, you know, uh, 
it still has that good, clean vibe, and they're not changing it. I love that they're not changing it. You know, they change the story, they don't change anything else, and that's fine. Uh, also, I want to stop here, um, kind of get a look at what's on the countertops, kind of what we're looking at. We obviously know we always have Nuka Cola, so that's good. I love that Nuka Cola. I think it's cool. Like I said, that DLC is badass. I like it. It's fun. We still got our bobbleheads. I'm sure we're still going to be searching for those. I don't think they switched that. I would be kind of disappointed if they did. Uh, I really want them to keep the bobbleheads. It's just cool. If you haven't done that any before, if you haven't played a Fallout, those bobbleheads you find all around, that's the collectible things. But on top of that, it gives you perk bonuses. Like some of them you'll see a little dude with a doctor. Well, that give you like 10% on your perk of intelligence or science, stuff like that. So I always thought that was cool because most things you don't get anything for collecting. So I love the fact that they did that and kept it. Um... Just kind of give you a background on what's going on. If you haven't heard the video, this is basically talking about time and change and what they're actually wanting to do. And you kind of get a little bit, but just a teaser of what they're doing uh, behind the scenes and the audio. But you got the music and everything going on. You really can't tell, and it's kind of short. But right here, we got our actual suit confirming that we are indeed coming from 76, and we get to learn what this is. Who are we? What are we going to do? Uh, in Fallout 4... It, you were a husband. You got taken from the vault. I'm wondering if they're going to do that because I thought that was a cool idea where they, they pre-did it. You know, it wasn't, boom, you wake up out of the you know the vault and you're out in the wasteland. They did a pre when We got to see the whole world. i never seen it like that, you know, uh, where it was just pure fallout. No actually, like, nuke look to it or wasteland look to it. It actually looked like a nice, good, you know, early 50s 60s era look and i like that it was cool you know and uh so i wonder how they're gonna do this one you know because in fallout 3 you know we started off as an infant and grew on your mom dies i'm not spoiling anything for anybody but uh your mama dies okay sorry she dies uh you kill her basically uh she comes out i mean you come out you learn from there you come from the vault and you enter all because your daddy don't ran off Anyways, that's kind of a rundown of Fallout 3, but uh, I'm happy that uh, they did change it up in Fallout 4 where it was a total different kind of pre-Fallout, and I thought that was badass. I thought that was cool because in New Vegas, it wasn't like that. You just have some mafia or gang, whatever it was, and you wake up after getting shot in the head. I don't know how you survive a shotgun or a pistol shot in your forehead, but whatever. Uh, hey, I don't know what to expect on this one. I don't know how many routes they can do. You're grown here, so I'm assuming you're going to be a grown person. Uh, but what to expect from this game? Multiplayer. I think everybody agrees with that. We've been waiting for a Fallout multiplayer. So I'm hoping they bring that, and I hope they continue the building. I hope they, they continue the mods, because I like to enjoy mods with a friend better than just by myself. That will be something to look forward to for me. Uh, like I said just earlier, I want to see a re -amp. I want the same thing in Fallout 4 where we got kind of like, we walk around while the world isn't blown up yet and then get into the world just so it's kind of cool when you get those collectible items before the you know, world drops. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, that is pretty much it. This is Fallout 76. Um, I'm really pumped. We'll learn more on June 14th, I believe. I know that's E3, but I do not know when Bethesda's showcasing is. Um, anyways, like I said, video below. I'll keep it in the description. Uh, it's probably easy for you guys nowadays to find it. It's pretty easy. But, uh, yes, it's coming out. We're ready. It came out of nowhere. But, guys, I'm more excited than any other game right now. This is one of my favorite games. I'm ready for 76. Hey, if you haven't liked, comment, and subscribe already, please do. And y'all have a great day.